space is hostile. It's very hostile to man. Blood boils at 65,000 feet. The Project Excelsior was the first time anybody was outside of a spacecraft in a space environment. I'm Joe Kittinger. I spent uh, 29 years in the United States Air Force. Half my career was spent in research and development, worked as a test pilot. The other half was a fighter pilot. Uh, I was a project officer on Project Excelsior. The two objectives of Project Excelsior was first, how to protect a man in a space environment, and second of all, how to provide the means of escape from very high altitude. When a person ejects extreme high altitude, he is uh, liable to spin. And the higher you eject, the more spinning you could do. Unfortunately, we didn't have aircraft that would go that high. The only thing you'd get up that high was a balloon vehicle. The takeoff was in the morning at about six o'clock. The climb uh, time from takeoff to 102,000 feet was about an hour and a half. And 40,000 feet, which is where my pressure suit inflates. And I suddenly discovered that a pressure suit glove in my right hand was not working. I knew that if I told the people on the ground that it wasn't working, that they'd make me abort the flight. So I opted not to tell the people on the ground that I had this problem. I could not use my right hand uh, during the flight. Everything I had to use my left hand. Uh, it swelled up about twice its normal size. Well, the sign on the bottom of the gondola was this is the highest step in space. Think about being at 102,000 feet. It was a very interesting experience for me to sit there and look at the horizon. And I could see over 400 miles from that altitude. My guy on the ground said, okay, we're over the position, you're cleared to jump. And I jumped. I fell for, uh, it seemed like I wasn't moving at all. There was no crystal, no velocity. There's nothing you can see. So I rolled over my back, I looked up, and I saw the balloon flying into space. I said, my gosh, that's amazing. And then suddenly I realized that the balloon was sitting still and I was going down at a fantastic rate. And then the small drogue chute came out and I free fell, stabilized from that altitude all the way down to 14,000 feet when my main parachute opened. And then it was just a question getting down to the ground. When I landed, my team was right there immediately. We were just ecstatic because we had accomplished what we set out to do. We had shown that man could go into space and work properly. We showed that we could protect him in a space environment. We showed that we could get a man down from high altitude. So there were a lot of firsts on the program. And as a result of this test, today, some 54 years later, every ejection seat in the world uses a small drogue chute to stabilize the free fall from high altitude. We were breaking barriers. We were setting uh, new goals and, and exceeding those goals. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. So you've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the window. Flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. You're in our field with you now. That's one small step for man. One giant leap.